Hello, this is a Lockdown Place, and this is going to be a really quick video to talk about how to make doing your crafting surveys more efficient, how to make them better, and a couple of tips and tricks that you may not know about doing them. I'm going to talk about three things. First of all, setting your CP, your champion points, in order to make doing your crafting it's better. Secondly, that you can do more than one survey at once. A lot of people uh, realize, don't realize that you can re return to a site again and, and again and again. And the third thing is that you can reset what spawns in your alchemy node surveys. Uh, but first of all, much, if not all, of what I say in these videos is also in the text. So please check the description. Uh, you might f find what you need there, and so you don't have to watch the entire video and save a little bit of your time. And last little point, I am far from a professional video maker. These are very badly edited. I do things back and forth. I apologize for the order of things. Sometimes I mess stuff up. Just trying to help. The first thing to know about crafting surveys is that the CP that you use for crafting surveys are really, really strong. You wouldn't really think they are uh, here in the green tree, but this master gatherer reduced the time it takes to harvest by 10% per stage so that's a 50% time reduction when you have all your points in. And the plentiful harvest, you have a 10% chance to gain double the yield from normal resource nodes. So you have a 50% chance. Uh, this one, especially on jewelry surveys, is amazing. They did fix this node last patch or so. That would be a, a update 40. So before that, it wasn't as effective. And so you might have gotten the idea that it wasn't a great node but it really, really is. First of all, let me talk about the speed. Um, here is the blacksmith uh, in uh, East March, and let me take that node out. I am organized, yes I am. There we go. Now let's just see how long it takes me to do all six of these. And now that you're completely and utterly bored, I will go to a different site and put in the CP point and see how much faster it is. Okay, now I'm in Shadowfen and hopefully the things that are here to attack me won't spawn while I'm doing this. But I'm going to put the uh, speed node back in and watch how much faster this is. When you're only doing one survey at a time, you know, one every couple of days, this isn't a big deal. But when you have a bunch of them, the speed increase makes a huge difference. Okay, now I'm in Craiglorn at one of the jewelry surveys, and I want to talk about the other champion point, which is this one, the Plentiful Harvest one. I'm going to turn, turn it off for now. Oops. And this one is particularly important here in Craiglorn because you get Nern Crux from your nodes. Okay, I have it off and I'm going to do this survey and see how much I'm getting uh, with each node. And the number comes up in the lower left hand corner about where I Isabel is standing right now. Okay, that was 20 platinum dust. 20 again. 18, 20, 20, and 20. 18 to 20 is pretty much what you always get from these. Okay, now I'm going to go to a different survey and put the CP node back in. Okay, now I'm in a different jury uh, survey in Craiglorn. Put the champion point back in. Also make sure my speed is on because... Otherwise, it's really annoying. Okay, again, the numbers in the lower left-hand corner. 38 platinum dust. 18, that's a standard, it didn't fire. 38, the highest you can get is 40. 
But remember, from a standard uh, jury node or anything else, you get like four uh, uh, jury what, dusts. So doing the jury uh, uh, surveys, even now that jury has been reworked and chromium and iridium and zircon isn't as expensive, it makes a huge difference. I haven't bought a zircon or uh, a, a chromium in years. Now, part of the reason I have such a huge number of these is because I had a bunch of uh, grains in my in, in inventory when the conversion happened. But I'm not going to have to buy chromium for as long as I pl play this game. And part of that is because I do my crafting surveys. Another thing I have seen people uh, misunderstand is that if you have more than one survey in your in inventory i here i am at the enchanter survey in, in vardenfell you can do them at the same time so i have two two of those i'm going to do these and again i have the cp point in so it's going really fast and then you just have to run far enough away from the survey in order to get that area to redraw. Sorry about the fancy mount. I was going to change that out. Didn't mean to flex in this video. And it varies uh, how, how far you have to go. But um, I, you learn once you do this how far you have to go for actually each one. But there they are again. I didn't have to leave. I didn't have to go, go to a way shrine. I just had to go far enough away to redraw the area. And I can re redo these. So if you have a stack of like five uh, surveys, that's really great because you can do them really fast. This has an extra really cool thing when you're talking about um, alchemy surveys. So let me I'm go. I'm at the alchemy survey in Gl Glenumbra, and you can see it's mostly not much good. Lady Smock is, is okay. M Mountain Flower is okay. Cornflower is really good, but what I want is Columbine. Columbine sells for by far the most, and it's the most useful alchemy ingredient. So under normal circumstances, I would pick this up because the cornflower is enough. But remember, there are three lady smocks here, two mountain flower, and one, one cornflower. I'm going to run away again like I did with the en enchantment to get it to, to respawn. But with alchemy, it will respawn what is in the nodes. So I'm back, and now I have Columbine, Bugloss, Bugloss, I don't know, uh, and again, a lot of Lady Smock. But look at that, Columbine. You can do this until you get three or four Columbine. That'll take a long time, and generally this w would be enough. I would pick it up with just one Columbine and one Bugloss, Bugloss, I don't know how to pronounce that. But you can do this if you want to until you get six columbine or six whatever you want. You just have to run far enough away to get the air oops. Hello. The wolves aren't attacking me because I've already done the quest in this area. There we go. So now we have Dragon Thorn, Dragon Thorn. It really wants to give me uh Lady Smock today. Cornflower. So again, you, you can reset these as often as you want. I generally only reset them until I get a columbine and or a corn flower. And if I have a bunch of them to do, I generally don't even reset them because I have plenty of alchemy ingredients. But if you really, really need columbine or whatever, that's the way to reset them. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this, or at least found it useful. Please don't like or subscribe. I mean, you can if you want, but I don't make enough content for that to be useful. What I do find very useful is when people give me a thumbs up or say in a comment that they found this content useful, especially a year or two after I make it, because then I know it's actually helping people. I hope you have a great day, and thanks again.